Hi, I'm Sarah Bronin, the Chair of the Advisory Council on Historic Preservation, standing here today at the Beinecke Library for rare books on the Yale University campus. This building was designed in the 1960s by Gordon Boonshaft of the firm Skidmore, Owings & Merrill, and it's really an icon of modernist architecture. At the core of the modernist movement was the notion that humanity needed a new approach to art, architecture, and design, an approach that was more functional, bolder and more innovative in terms of structural form, and cleaner and simpler overall. Modernists believe this approach could help us transition from traditional social norms to newer ways of relating to our places and to each other. That perspective is clearly expressed at the Beinecke. You see the rare books housed here in this glass, uh, glassed in area that's accessible to researchers. But one of the things that I wanted to show you was these panels here, uh, very, very thin marble and in on a sunny day, translucent, almost like windows. So when you're sitting in here, you see the light shining in, but it's not so strong that it damages the rear books. So let's go outside. As we descend from the main level to the ground floor, we experience the building's mechanical and spatial clarity, but we also feel its formality, which sometimes turns people off modernist buildings. So here we are on the outside of this building, and as you can see, it's even more iconic on the outside than it is on the inside. So as we pan around, you can see uh, the it's pretty tall, maybe five stories tall. Um, it sits in the middle of this plaza, and you can see it's surrounded by that collegiate Gothic architecture that is much more typical of the Yale campus. Traditional buildings like Woolsey and Harkness Halls, which flank the Beinecke, have sometimes seen more attention from preservationists than modern buildings. Modern buildings also face special challenges in their materials, which are deteriorating due to age and climate change. The Advisory Council on Historic Preservation supports the efforts of organizations like the Getty Conservation Institute, ECOMOS, and DOCOMOMO to address these challenges with new research and strategies. So if you're ever in New Haven, I encourage you to visit this uh, icon of modernist architecture. It's situated right in the heart of the Yale campus. It's a delight to see, uh, especially on a beautiful spring day like today. You should also explore how this city, which dates back to the 1660s, has embraced modernist architecture, not just at the Beinecke, but also at the Knights of Columbus building by Kevin Roche and John Dinkaloo, the Pirelli Building by Marcel Breuer, now the triumphant Hotel Marcel, Louis Kahn's British Art Center, and several Paul Rudolph buildings. These buildings add to the vitality of the city in ways I hope you experience for yourself. Once again, thanks for joining me for another Preservation Short.